Can Daddy cook? y'all hear that <laughs> hey everybody welcome to daddy cooks uh this is something i've never done before you saw the title this is going to be a uh, uh charcoal spit roasted duck all right i have to remember that when i make the title all right the reason this came about is i saw a lady by the name of kendall lawrence head chef mom friend of mine actually not a lady uh she uh did a duck recipe but she did it in the oven Back when I was in Parts Unknown, I made a comment on there and I told her that I was gonna try to do a duck. And if I do, I'd give her credit for it. So Kendall, thank you very much for that idea. You're the inspiration for this video. All right, guys. Um, it's gonna be done outside, charcoal spit, and we'll see how good this goes because I've never used it before and I've never cooked a duck before. Not this way. I've done duck breast, but not a full duck. All right, guys, now the supporting cast looks a little something like this right here. Obviously there is a duck, all right? Now this has already been prepped and you'll see the prep for this um, when we get into the prep footage, all right guys? But what I did prior to prepping it to cook is yesterday I stuck it in a refrigerator and uh, I suspended it on wooden spoons over a pan. I wanted it to lose some moisture, loosen up the skin uh, because I want to render it as much as I could. It looks like this. You guys see how I did that, all right guys? And then once I, Got up this morning, I pulled it out, let it come to room temperature, and here we are here. Once again, this is after the prep work. All right, guys, uh, the duck. I used this SPG from the uh, Grill Masters Club that came in this box, which I'll be talking about here shortly. All right, I used extra virgin olive oil so that the SPG would stick. I put three quarters of an apple inside, and I put a stick of celery inside, and obviously the butcher's twine is so I could truss it up. All right, guys. Um, once again, I've never done this before. I hope this <laughs> turns out great. Not doing something's never stopped me before. Uh, stick with me guys, and I will be right back.
Hey YouTube, we're outside now. Uh, you guys seen the prep. You saw me put the spit in uh, the actual bird. Now I'm gonna show you the setup outside. All right guys, so here we go. It looks a little something like this. <clears throat> Actually, that's my kettle grill. Take this hot top off, it's burning my hand. Ow, ow, ow. All right guys, there it is. Obviously I put a pan underneath because uh, it's gonna, there's a lot of fat in the duck and it's gonna render. All right, you see that I have it trussed up. You saw that piece. You see how it's turning smoothly. This right here is a counterweight. And I just did the counterweight so that it would uh, keep it turning smoothly. All right guys? So uh, I'm getting a flare up. Anyway, we're gonna let that go until I get an internal temperature of like 165, 170, something like that. And uh, I'll be right back. All right guys? Peace. Hey guys, welcome back, welcome back. While my duck is out there doing what ducks do on the rotisserie, <laughs> um, I wanna do a, 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 a brief uh, station break to talk about a product. <clears throat> a man named Mr. Kevin Early, the CEO for the uh, uh, Master Grillers Club, uh, uh, Grill Masters Club, I'm sorry, um, contact me while I was at Parts Unknown and he approached me about this club. Now, I couldn't join because my schedule doesn't allow it, but I did agree that if he sent me a sample, I'd give it a review. And then uh, uh, even though I can't join, I'm pretty sure if I keep in contact with him periodically when I am here on Stateside, he might be able to send me another product every now and again, a gift box pretty much, all right? A, a box for uh, 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 grilling things, all right? Uh, what he sent me this go round in this box is here right over here, okay? Uh, he sent me in this box, one is this card, one it has a uh, description of the featured products and on the back it also has a recommended recipe, okay? But inside this box, he sent me some peach barbecue sauce. It says the sauce has a light, sweet, and mildly smoky flavor with a slight touch of heat. It is excellent on meat like fish, chicken, and pork. It also works with uh, as well as a finishing sauce or a dipping sauce. The light flavor and sweetness of the peaches really comes through with a subtle but great barbecue flavor. Uh, it's a customer favorite. Now, what I will do is once I get a chance to get more cooks in, I plan on using this on probably some ribs or maybe on some fish or something. So I will get to that. The next product is Hogwaller Pork and Rib Rub, this right here. It says, super sweet and savory and a slight kick from Chipotle peppers. Hogwaller was originally made uh, for pork ribs but it's also great on chicken. It uses three types of sugar and has a slightly smoky flavor. The combination of sweet slavery and slavery, <laughs> sweet savory and smoky flavors is especially great for grilling and smoking pork ribs. This is their number one selling uh, rib rub. All right, barbecue rub. This right here, SPG, contains large flakes and can be used on steaks, big cuts of meat, and uh, high, uh, high heat grilling. Uh, even Purists will enjoy the balanced flavors on this rub. SPG allows the flavor of the meat to shine through. All right, uh, I hope it worked good on duck because that's what I put it on. I will let you know. <laughs> All right, guys. And the last thing is the Texas Chili Seasoning Kit. Uh, it makes two pounds, six to eight servings of chili. Uh, the simple recipe is over 35 years old and is a winning winner every time. Uh, it is a home style hearty chili with a medium level of heat. Customers report that it is the best chili they've ever made. <laughs> and many win chili cook-offs using the exact recipe. Winner of the Chili Pepper Magazine Award, best chili kit two years in a row. So that's what this is right here. All right, guys. Um, I have not used anything in here but the SPG, and I will let you know how the SPG works out on the duck. But I will be using these products, and as I do use them, I will be letting you know how I feel about them. All right, guys. Um, so once again, uh, Kevin Early, thank you very much for sending this to me. Uh, here's the review, the unboxing, and I will let you know what I think of SPG coming up here really quick. All right, guys, thanks for watching this little uh, 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 commercial. <laughs> and uh, I will be right back.
bubble tea. <laughs> I've got to turn on to these video coming soon. Anyway, guys, <clears throat> welcome back, welcome back. It has been about an hour 20, maybe an hour and a half since I put the duck on the, uh, uh, the spit out back and it's done. I probed it, internal temperature was above 165 in the thigh and above 165 in the breast, so I pulled it and brought it in. Here it is. Boom, looks like this. Beautiful, wonderful. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let it rest uh, maybe for about 20, 30 minutes and then we'll cut into it and do a taste test. I'm excited, I've never done this before. Uh, it looks beautiful, look at that. It's wonderful as far as color wise. Uh, first time I used a rotisserie uh, charcoal spit and first time I've done a duck like I said before. So. Stay with us, and I will be right back. Hey YouTube, welcome back, welcome back. Uh, this is done perfectly. What we're gonna do is uh, I'm going to try to take the breast off of this duck. I'm gonna cut up into slices and then we'll do my taste test. Uh, my oldest daughter, Jessica's gonna come on and give us a taste test. Once again, I've never done a duck this way. I've never used a rotisserie on charcoal before. So let's see what we can do. And it goes a little something like this. I'm just gonna go in right here by the keel bone. Keel bone. There it is. Go around like so. Like so. And then I'm just gonna follow it around and try to take the entire breast off. Like so, this is hot. This is hot. Nice. 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 Oh, see, I'm taking the ribs with it. Stay on their ribs. Much better. No, people, I am not a butcher. Nor a chef. I'm just a dad that cooks. Ooh, yeah. And we're just gonna cut this on the bias, like so. Just get over there, you people are looking. Almost done, folks. Almost done. All right, all right. Here we go. Now I'm just gonna slide this like that. And I'm gonna now wait for my daughter to come. Excuse the finger licking, because it's finger looking good. And now we're gonna try a taste test. Come on, baby girl. All right, just grab your peas and then just give me a taste test and tell me what I've you never think. Had duck before. She's never had duck before. I just said that because she said that. <laughs> All right, tell me what you think, sweetie. She looked at it like he did something to it. No, it's fine. <laughs> oh, no, it, it really tastes really good. It's really moist, very juicy. Flavors. Savory. Okay. Not too salty. Good. Um, it's really, really good. I'm <laughs> Father, I want some more. Want some more. <laughs> Grab another piece. And then I'm going to do a taste test as well. Yeah. Because I don't know what you season with. I, I got you. Well, I know what I season with. All right, YouTube. Very tender. Juicy. Very good. I have the salt, the pepper, and the garlic from the season that I use. Mm. I got a hint of the celery and the apple that I stuffed it with. Very slight, but delicious. Do over. Very much so. Okay. Do over. That's fantastic. That came out fantastic. Um, I will be doing this over and over again, guys. Well, that's how we did it, or how I did it. A charcoal spit roasted duck, never done it before, came out fantastic. My girls call me Daddy, and I cook. Oh, that 
stuff in the back. Look at what that. What stuff? What? What? The. This? Well, yes. All right, I'll move it. Hey, production man. You, know, you just made us a blooper reel. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Yes, I said it's on purpose to YouTube so y'all can see it. <laughs> <laughs> Blooper! <laughs> All right, we good? Yeah. All right. The funny is, uh, while we're on the blooper reel, uh, uh, Lyle tells me from, uh, from, uh, no, if barbecue, he says, when I laugh, he laughs. <laughs>, <laughs> Take that. <laughs> All right, let's go. It's recording. Oh, are we going? <laughs> Three, two, <laughs> two, one. Hell of a blooper reel. <laughs> Sorry, you said What? You said take that. <laughs> <laughs> you just made the blooper reel on I'm sorry. <laughs> Let's try this again. Ready? Ready? All right. Can I get some silence? Profession. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, okay, wait, wait. You get... <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> Does blooper reel gonna be longer than the video? Okay, wait, wait. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, stop, stop, stop. <laughs> stop it! I'm trying to get this done. Okay. <laughs> You're not making it any better. Yeah. <laughs> all right, all right, okay, right. seriously, yeah, we're, we're two minutes in. The video will be too long. <laughs> 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 oh, okay, all right. Seriously. This thing gets so rich. Okay, okay. <clears throat> Okay, all right, for real, for real, for real, for real, for real, for real. <laughs> hey, YouTube, welcome back, welcome back. Can daddy cook? Mm -hmm.